in four days, I'll be moving out of this apartment and me and my boyfriend are going to be moving in together. I have so much to update y'all on. What's up guys? As I said, update is needed because I am in a different space. OG family, y'all know y'all ain't seen that Christmas tree before, but this recording, Liar! okay? And y'all ain't never seen none of this because I was living in the studio for two years. All my apartment content was based on that studio. And to be honest, the update never came because all this stuff happened so fast. Like, I don't know what came over me. Well, actually, I don't know. I wanted a fresh start. I'm like, okay, I need a refresher. Life is getting boring. So in December, I inquired about moving into a one bedroom in my same building because I like my building. I moved. Never told y'all about it because eh, I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, stuff was going so fast. I was looking for a fresh start. And to be honest, I don't really like this apartment. It's a huge living room. But the rest of the house, which y'all will see, because I'm going to do an apartment tour. It's small. It's cramped. You can hear every freaking thing. I have some crazy neighbors, okay? Some crazy neighbors. Let's just say that. Whatever. Baby crying. Child crying. Whoever. Uh, And the door, literally, to the, the main entrance is right there. I'm going to show y'all. Main entrance right there. I can hear every freaking time somebody come in. People be yelling, talking. And it's just made me be like, okay, <laughs> what did I get myself into? I'm paying more money for something I don't even really like. Like my apartment, my studio down the hall was, and this is like, ooh. But we are gonna be out of here in a few days. And I'm moving into my dream apartment. Like I remember putting uh, the same apartment style on my vision board when I was 20, 21. And the fact that, I feel like I'm in like my soft girl era because life is changing. Like last year for me, and I'm gonna put the camera down because we got to talk. <laughs> last year for me was kind of crazy. A lot of stuff financially was going on and I was broke. Like life has been gradually getting better for me. And I'm so thankful for where I'm at now. Like I feel like I have lived through yet another testimony and we're here. Let me give you all an apartment tour and a little bit more details about how the transfer process happened and how I found out that I couldn't even renew this lease anyway. So yeah, it's looking a little dusty in here. Dusty in here. <laughs> White couch from Amazon. Put the sheet over it. I normally have my Chanel blanket over it because, once again, it's white. And I didn't kept it up, child, for about six months now. But we are going to get a new sofa. Christmas tree going to go in one of my bags that I got from Amazon. Moving bags. We had the air mattress blown up because he had the flu a few weeks ago. And he wasn't about to get me sick. But let's zoom out. This is the vibe for the living room. Like I said, I never really even... Feel like I got a chance to do decorating really in here because it was time to leave. But I did really like how big and spacious the living room is. I can't renew the lease here because they're about to do a big building renovation. And I'm happy that I did my due diligence as a tenant because you have to, if it's in your lease, tell your leasing company within 60 days in my lease again if you want to renew um or if you're going to move and vice versa they need to let you know if they want to renew with you or if they don't and i did that and then my person told me that i wasn't going to be able to renew so that put me in a big dilemma because i'm like well i wasn't planning on moving and what you talking about <laughs> and side note this looks so ghetto <laughs> but back to this being a small space look how small this bedroom is i cannot wait for y'all to see a new apartment because it's just so much better there was a lot of self-doubt going on because like i'm like well my credit is not even up to par and what am i gonna do me and my boyfriend went looking for apartments we only viewed a few child the apartments that we viewed was not my liking but the apartment that we about to get like i said my dream apartment the view is so beautiful the amenities are there as far as the washer and dryer dishwasher not really a dishwasher girly never had one growing up and i can hear my mom say in, in my head dishwashers cost so much and use so much water but we don't pay for water okay so i guess we'd be trying to doubt 
but <laughs> regardless i'm happy i feel bright and refreshed and i'm just ready to move on wednesday is when stuff really gonna get into motion because at that point i ordered a whole bunch of stuff from amazon and it'll be having already arrived i did like i said order some moving stuff and we're gonna be packing stuff up because on friday i have to work but on friday is when we move so when i get off work i'm ready to like go like we moved from down the hall and i feel like it really wasn't until the day of that i actually started to freaking pack up and get ready to go mm -mm. i want to be done moving in two hours i get off work at 3 30 i ain't trying to be up all night moving stuff no 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 so on wednesdays when we're actually be taking stuff down it ain't nothing in here it looks so empty and I have some more content. So I'll see y'all then, or we'll see y'all then, because y'all meet my boyfriend. So today is Thursday. Yesterday, we did not do anything. Huh, yesterday was low-key irritating. It was a freaking centipede in my kitchen. And I did not want to go back in the kitchen for the whole night. So and we didn't do anything. He didn't even come over yesterday. So we're literally going to be packing up everything, which is Thursday today in preparation for tomorrow but like i said i'm still on the same type of time of it not being an infamy to do tomorrow's i'm so excited that all of our amazon packages have come on time because for the um table it was saying that it was delayed to april 3rd and i'm like well i paid ten dollars shipping what, what, what do you mean but we got it today everything is here and i'm just so ready we're gonna be moving in tomorrow at 4 p.m after i get off work so yeah let's see how tonight goes Okay, so you get the boxes. We got these boxes for home from Home Depot. How much were they? A dollar ninety-eight. Ah, all the Amazon packages are here. There's a lot of them. So these are some of the bags I bought. They're pretty heavy duty, kind of like the ones at the Dollar Tree. I mean, not the Dollar Tree, but them ghetto. Uh, what you call this? Those are the face things. Yeah, lamp. What is that? The face compression. I don't know what this is. Oh, flashlights for the end of the world for the eclipse <laughs> coming up. Just putting the books um, in the box and all that kind of stuff because I don't like want the same thing that happened last time that happened this time because I was dragging stuff down the hall. We can just start with the perimeter and then we can take down the couch. So let's get to it. I love you, Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God, look at the freaking sky. It's so cool. Two hours later. Okay, we have went to lunch and now we have returned. But the bed is now out the room closet which is so close it's done this is the progress i'm gonna do laundry tomorrow or saturday rather with our actual laundry equipment that is the washing machine my boyfriend got me for christmas but if y'all see my reels a lot of manual labor and then this is the progress for the living room thus far and now we are in the bathroom already some of my beauty stuff being sucked down what i really want to do is show y'all how these dollar tree things work so obviously you know when you are in an apartment you should not really be peeling paint off the wall in my old unit i did but i didn't know how to work these now i do as you can see all of the camera is doing a whole bunch of crazy focusing just pull it down and i should be able to did the plane come off I should be able to pull it off. I don't think it did work. God dang. Well, this one. Uh, well. Okay. Progress update. Bam. But it's time to throw my chair away. This was my mama's chair. That's crazy. It became my chair when I was doing with my dad. It became my chair at home. We're about to throw this table out because we got another one. Come on! You got this, you got this, this what? The thing. The scoop. 
Bro, yeah, you know you can't do it like that. All right, it is officially move-in day. Your girl is so freaking tired, as you can see. This house is a mess, but we did make some progress. I'm tired. I am overly stimulated. Today at work was a lot. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get some coffee or energy drink or something. I hate when I'm doing stuff and I'm hungry, and I definitely feel hungry right now. So, I need to recharge. But um, we pushed the time back, or the person, my property manager, pushed the time back to 4.30. It's almost 4.30 right now, so it's going to be time to um, get the keys soon. I got off of work a little bit later than I expected to, neither here nor there. We're here now. I'm so happy. And then our beautiful view. And then our beautiful light fixture at the top. And nice kitchen and our bathroom beautiful <laughs> we did it and we got a light up there and then our bedroom my side or inside I'm so happy, happy, happy. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I, this is how I, why I fell in love with this apartment because of the light. Like everywhere you go, the light just hit. It just hit. It feels so, it feels so different in here, don't it? It just feels so spacious and different. I'm so happy. Wow. Okay, well. Look at this though. Let's see. That's sweet, isn't it? That is sweet. I ain't even see that at first. Oh, Lord. It's gonna be a long night, it seems like. The room is cleared out. Living room is clear. Bathroom is clear. <sighs> My first apartment. Even though I'm in a different unit, this is a very special place for me because it was my first apartment and it gave me my first chance when I didn't think that I had a chance.